Internal shot, Nick's bedroom, night. Nick is sprawled out on his bed, laptop open. Into the browser bar, nervous, he types bisexual. He immediately spots a video titled, How I Knew I Was Bisexual, by a YouTuber called Layla Vlogs. Who the hell is Layla Vlogs? What can I do? Hey, what's going on you beautiful internet people? My name is Courtney J, and you may recognize me as the bisexual YouTuber who helps Nick Nelson come out in Heartstopper. I always felt like I had these feelings for girls up to that point, but all of a sudden I started having feelings for guys too. And that's when I realised I'm bisexual. For me, this was a super surreal experience and I can't wait to share that with you. I want to talk about how I got the role in the first place because I'm not the biggest YouTuber and these sort of opportunities usually go to people who have millions of subscribers and have, you know, insane reach around the world. But I'm quite small and it's weird how I actually got the part in the first place. I also want to talk a little bit about my script because my script was originally written for a woman and Alice let me change it to basically accommodate me, which is pretty awesome. And finally, because you guys are so special and you guys are so awesome, I want to give you something which would only be exclusive to my channel. And that is, I'm going to show you some of the alternate scenes that I filmed for the show. I'm over here and I'm going to do a few of them on my Patreon just because I feel like those guys need something special as well. So if you want to check out the rest of them, you have to go over to the Patreon. But this is going to be something awesome to share in this video with you guys as well. So let's start from the beginning. One day I'm going through my DMs on Instagram and I receive a message from a representative of Seesaw Films. They asked me, hey, do you want to be in this Netflix project? And at first I'm like, this is way too good to be true. Who messaged someone to be part of a Netflix project on Instagram? But I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna turn down an opportunity. Let's go forward, let's see how this goes. Basically, I'm talking to this person for maybe a couple of days and they say, hey, you know what? We're gonna set you up with a Zoom call with the director of the show and the writer. So I'm like, sure, they're probably just, you know, pranking me, this is probably a big joke. I wait a week and they go into the Zoom call and lo and behold, the director, what they told me was directing the show, appears in front of me on a screen. That is mind blowing. And the director is super nice. He's like, hey Courtney, I've watched your videos. We think you're great and we think you're gonna be great in this role. And I was like, holy crap, you've watched my videos. And he's like, yeah, I thought they were really good. And I'm like, that is the most amazing compliment. Like you are a real director telling me that my videos are good. Do you know, do you know what that means to me? You are paid a lot of money to make these things and you're telling me that the little videos which I make in my bedroom with a little ring light and a camera are good. And he's like, yeah, they are. And I was like, okay then, cool, I like you. And then about five minutes later, who should appear? Alice Osman herself. Now I'm gonna be honest guys, I wasn't really starstruck. I would actually be more starstruck now because at the time, this project hadn't been given a name, okay? So I didn't know this was Heartstopper, it had been called Evergreen. Alice is like the sweetest person ever. So she starts talking to me, she's like, hey Courtney, um, so I'm writing the show and uh, I want you to be in it and I want you to basically have this role as a YouTuber who helps the main protagonist of the show come out. And I was like, wow, you I mean, I get to do what I do in real life in a TV show. That is freaking awesome. So the meeting continues on for about another 10 minutes and we just have a nice little chat and they seem really friendly and they basically tell me that they're gonna send me over my scripts and basically I need to film two videos for them. One what's 25 seconds long and one what's 15 seconds long. One which is about growing up bisexual and the other one is how I knew I was bisexual. And I tell you this now, you try and film something in 25 seconds which has to say something very, very important for a Netflix show, it is the most nerve wracking thing I have ever done in my life. And I'm gonna be honest, I probably couldn't have done it without the power of these. So you guys don't get to see this in the show because you only see the top half of me. But when I filmed those videos, I was actually wearing my Cookie Monster pajamas because I wanted to feel comfortable. I was super nervous, I didn't know what to say and I just kept going at it until I got what I thought was good. So I think these are now my lucky Cookie Monster pajamas and I think anytime I take on something which is really difficult in life, I'm gonna be wearing them because somehow it managed to get me into a Netflix series. So that's incredible. These are now lucky Cookie Monster pajamas. About a week after the show came out, I basically went to the representative of Seesaw Films and I said, why did you pick me? Why did you want me for this role? Because at first I thought it was because I've made a few popular videos on bisexuality and they've basically gone, hey, he seems like a popular bisexual person. Let's use him. Turns out nothing to do with that. Basically told me that the reason why I'm in the show is because Alice went to them with a list of YouTubers and that list wasn't YouTubers, it was YouTuber. She'd literally just picked me 
to do the role. She made me feel like a superstar for even a few brief moments. Now I know my role was only very small in the show, but being given that opportunity is absolutely incredible and I can't thank Alice enough. She's such an amazing person, she's so sweet. So I decided to message her and I said, hey Alice, um, I wrote this message like 20 times and I don't know how to thank you enough. And basically she sent me this back. So now that we've talked about how I got the role in the show, let's talk a little bit about my original script. They let me rewrite the script to how I wanted it to be. And uh, I went with actually my real authentic story. I was 14, I did have a best friend and I did kiss them. And I felt like if I was gonna write a script and say and open up my heart about bisexuality, I should really talk about from my own personal experience. So what you see in the show is really me. But talking about the original script a little bit more, the original scene was meant to talk about Doctor Who. In fact, it starts off by talking about how Layla has a crush on David Tennant, but then going back to rewatch the show, she ends up having a crush on Rose. And uh, that's pretty, pretty interesting because I absolutely love Doctor Who and I did have a massive crush on Rose and I always thought David Tennant was really awesome. So it was cool to have that link, but it didn't really feel authentic to me. So I had to change it to something which felt more authentic to me and that's why I came up with the whole story of me being 14. Now that I've talked about how I got the role on the show and a little bit about my script, let's get on to the really fun stuff. Let's show you guys what the scene could have been. I realised I was bisexual around the David Tennant era of Doctor Who. I always had this massive crush on Billy Piper. She was just stunning, gorgeous and amazing. But strangely, I started having this amazing crush on David Tennant and all of a sudden I started to realise I'm bisexual. I think realising you're bisexual is actually quite easy, it's accepting it was the hard part. For me, it came in the form of me kissing my best friend, him kissing me back, and it actually feeling normal. Up to that point I'd always had crazy feelings for girls, but all of a sudden I started having crazy feelings for guys which also felt just as normal as the other feelings. Being honest, bisexuality is a whole lot of confusion. It's second guessing if you're straight or if you're gay, and then realising that you're actually neither. You're a combination of the both, and that's okay, and that's normal. Pretty much every day I would second guess myself. I'd have a crush on a guy, and then I'd have a crush on a girl, and I would try and say, which one is it? And then I finally come to the conclusion that it's bisexuality, and that's perfectly valid to feel this way. Oh, hi. If you're still here, it means that you've watched this video to the end, which means that you are an amazing person, because not everyone does this. Very surprising, but you're one of the special ones, and I really, really like you. But unfortunately, it's kind of wasted time, because there's nothing else to share. Except for, maybe, that I'm a Pisces. That's a fun fact that you now know, which people didn't know who cut off before that point. But I am going to say love, and I am going to say peace, and I'm going to say to you, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.